So after we started into Icefield Highway, <laughs> we then entered into Jasper National Park, which that's where we are now. We're actually probably oh, quite a ways into it. I don't know how big it is, but quite a ways into it. We're about 45 minutes away from the town of Jasper. Um, anyway, we are here at Sun Wapata. That's my some yes. falls. Yeah. It's like the biggest falls in the area. Yeah. So it's very beautiful. There's a lot of dead trees around here though, which is really strange. I don't know why that is. But if while you're driving down the road, you can actually it looks like fall colors, but it's actually tree some of the trees are dying cuz these, these yeah. evergreens don't change colors obviously. So but it's pretty cool. So one of our ideas, kind of tips if you will, is in the morning or in the daytime as we came through the park and then entered in jasper park it was quite a ways even into jasper park we were kind of surprised by that but then um what our idea was is there's a lot it's like the parking's full every stop of the way so our idea was to go all the way to here sun wapata and somebody's gonna make total fun of me for saying it like that and then go back and like we passed the biggest glaciers we passed all that. Our hope, and we'll find out, is if on the way back there'll be less people there. So probably not. Probably but not. It's not a good theory. Probably right? won't work. But we'll we'll let y'all know if it does. <laughs> First turn right there. The very first sign says 1898, and then the next one's like 1909, and then the next one's like 1948, and that's where the literal iceberg, no, the little glacier was, and it went all the way back to there. Well, part of it is, look, they're driving on it. Right, they're driving on it on the uh, glacier. So. Okay, so here we are at Bow Lake, and look how beautifully blue it is. If you look in the very back, right up there, there's a glacier, and that right there is a waterfall. It's absolutely stunning. However, it is 50 degrees out here on, what is it, August 14th. <laughs> it is absolutely freezing. Good girl. Get some water. So I don't know if you could hear it, but that squirrel is fit to be tied. 
because <laughs> Shyla treated her and she's not happy about it. Shyla's right here beside me wanting to go get it. She's still chirping at us. All right, you have it your way. <laughs> So they said it was going to be a 10 minute walk, but they did not tell you that it's all uphill. Straight up. <laughs> it's, it's 10 minutes completely so straight up. So here we are at Pato Glacier. Which is? On Pato Lake. Bow Summit. Which is the tallest peak in Icefield, on Icefield Parkway. Right, there you go. So it's a lot to remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of information here. So they actually have this hole here. You look here. through this hole. Then you can see the glacier. <laughs> I don't buy it. <laughs> so anyhow, it is a, uh, it is strenuous. It's only, it is only 10 minutes. It just takes you a half hour to get 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful. And you lose all the blood out of your no. head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're, and you're still almost 7,000 feet up here. So it's, then it of course takes your breath away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what we are, 7,000? Yeah. Yeah. Almost. I thought it was like ten. Six nine or Maybe something. Maybe fourteen thousand. I thought it was. <laughs> Here it is on a different view. Still the same glacier, Pato Glacier, Pato Lake. But as far as you can see is mountaintops. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. It's just insane. But what's cra what what's frustrating is that cameras never do anything justice, you know? Well not our cameras. Right. There's some good ones out there. <laughs> but still, it's just I mean, as far as you can see, snow top mountains, just peaks beyond peaks beyond peaks. It's just it's absolutely breathtaking. Okay, so on the way up here, we keep finding these like little offshoot trails. So I'm gonna go find out where they go. And if you, uh, you know, don't hear from me again, then why? So, this is not thin enough for a human to fit through, <laughs> obviously, or something else. 